Yes. So I'm going to get into LaVeja Renee because it actually has to do with a toxic relationship. And it's about a female who does not know how to get out of it. Now, this is not a technically an ask LaVeja Renee. It was simple conversation through a friend. And I just thought to bring it to light and understanding as well as I want people who is watching this or going to watch this to put some positive comments under this post to this young lady because this is something she is still going through. I did ask for her permission to share our little conversation. Uh, it is discreet. It's not really like a full conversation. It's just like she expressed something to me and, you know, I gave her some, you know, positive feedback back. So, um... So Miss Miss Starkey said they also keep thinking that it will that it will chance or they will change. Yeah, they do. Like a lot of people, they just I don't even know how to express that. I think I expressed it in a show before, and I was just like how people. That's like giving somebody the cake. Oh no, that's giving somebody the award before the race. That's like oh my god, he's gonna win. That man's gonna win. I love him. Yes, you're gonna win. If he don't win, you're like damn. But I gave you the award. Can you get back? And it's like no. So it's like. I don't know it's like people expect so much of a person and when they don't fulfill that it's like they're they're upset but it's just again it's like mm, I don't know I mean it's toxic it's toxic in more than one way it's not toxic just with the belief or faith that you have in that person it could be toxic and you could and some people like toxic like some people like it. Some people become accustomed and that became a norm to them, being in a toxic relationship. Like, arguing with their significant other every day became a comfort for them. Like, it's like raising a child. Can you emphasize on that? How is a toxic relationship like raising a child? Miss Darkie. Yeah, how is that like raising a child? That's an interesting um, comparison. Can you explain that more? But, um, yeah, it's like... I don't know, like, some people become so, they feel like it's just gonna get better, and they become, like, so, like, used to being in a toxic situation, like, like, I know I'm rambling, but I know y'all get what I'm saying, and I'm not alone as to what I'm saying, because some people just get so used to it, it becomes a norm for them, so, like, arguing is a norm, you know, it's just cursing each other out, being disrespectful to each other, even putting hands verbally, mentally, verbally, emotionally abusing each other, it just becomes a norm, like it becomes something that you expect when you get home or you expect after you tell this person something, excuse me she said bad behavior, no consequence hmm, that is a great, that is a nice comparison, raising a child, bad behavior no consequence, it's like a toxic relationship yeah, it is because after a while I feel like Especially these the new these new day and age parents, they just be like over it. Like, Jojo, stop doing that, Jojo. I told you stop doing that, Jojo. You know what, I'm a Jojo. I'm like, I don't want to say anything to you. I'm just over it. Cause I told you once, you little badass. And then that's when, <laughs> that's when, that's when, little badass. Like, the reason why Jojo's bad, man, because you uh you gave up. Like you don't even care. He knew to do three times, and you would have just let it go. Like I'm gonna do this three times. She ain't gonna say nothing to me after that. Like, so I do agree with that. It is kind of like a that is comparison to toxic relationship. It is. So I do want to get into the last uh, 10 minutes of Black Salvation Renee. So, so back to the week before last show, where I was talking about domestic violence, which is the show before that, um, which I stated early in the show. Um, I promoted my show via Instagram, and I remember her DMing me and stating that she couldn't wait to view the show because that was something she was currently dealing with herself. And I took a screenshot of the conversation, and I'm going to read it. I'm not going to read it verbatim, but I'm going to, you know, just mention the few trigger pieces that just is supposed to give you the green light, you know. And, like, excuse my language, but to get the fuck about that situation. You feel me? Okay. Let's get into it. All right. So. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Give me two seconds, I'ma read this conversation like tomorrow. Ooh. I got bars, y'all. But I'm gonna make say my EP coming out tomorrow. Damn. So basically she wrote me. <laughs> and I was basically like saying, you know, you can anonymously tell your story and you know, just get some insight and points from other people's perspective, but not them knowing it's you. Cause that's what LaVey Renee is for. It's for people to voice, you know, what they go through and just to find some answers, you know, of their situation, some closure, some understanding, you know. So she con she 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 wrote me back. She said, "I'm not gonna lie. I just had a fight with the guy on Tuesday. He got her locked up. 
and it's like she's over it but she just want to be stronger than yesterday she says she still cries her face is messed up she can't hear out her right ear she almost lost her job and she's going to counseling this week so she's in a toxic relationship she acknowledged she's in a toxic relationship and she's going to get help so i do want to commend her for that and congratulate her for that because baby girl even though you're going through this you're acknowledging it you're accepting your truth and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're saying i can't do this anymore and you're going to seek help and i'm very proud of you and i'm happy for you that you're doing that uh i said my part you know and she basically said like this is the worst feeling she ever been through. Like, she knows, I, you know, I sent my blessings. You know, you can get through this. You're a beautiful female. I pray that you get out of the situation. But you have, I said, but you have to want that for you as well. Like, you have to want to get up out of something. Like, I could give you prayer. I can give you motivation. But you have to do the work. That's like praying and then be like, God, I want to freaking bend and then go lay in your bed. Not going to happen, people. Not going to happen. You have to put in the work. Like, you could pray for things. You could wish for things. You can, you can, you know, you can, yeah, you can just pray for it because there's a lot of people that pray for a lot. I don't know a lot of people that only talk to God because they want to. They don't talk to God for deliverance or thankfulness or being grateful. They just talk to him when they want something. But you have to work towards what you want. He can give it to you, but you have to put the work in. So, um... She's saying basically they can't talk to each other, but she thank God that she has her life and she still has her job because getting beat on is serious. So basically, she's in a domestic violence relationship as well as a toxic relationship. She's been in this relationship for a very long time, probably some years now, because I, I know when she got into the relationship when I was working for her, working with her. And she's at a point guys where she wants to get out of this toxic relationship she knows she's in a toxic relationship she knows it's unhealthy for her she knows this is something she doesn't want to be in and she's looking to get help um and i just pray that this time she's serious because i do remember speaking to her about it before and she said the same thing and found herself in the same situation but like i said toxic relationships is like a drug it's like saying you're gonna get off dope and then, you know, you're clean for like a day or two, threw up, did all that hard work to get out of it. But then you find yourself shooting it up. You know, it's like, it's like you, you, you go halfway because of just fear. And people, when I mean facing your fears is the best thing, I'm having a seminar in July. When I mean I am terrified to talk to people face to face, like y'all through my phone. I don't see none of y'all people. I just see y'all names. So this is the most easiest thing. The only other people is John... Coco, Coco, I'm about to call you Coco Chanel. Coco. <laughs> and Cece, who's over here bumping. But yeah, like, I know these people, like, I could talk to them, like, they're, they're, I could talk to them, like, like this with the camera off. But I'm facing my fears. And face your fears, you will never know what's on the other side of the door. What I mean to tell you by you doing something that's scary to you become you get uncomfortable to be comfortable people i'm having a seminar in july i'm going to be talking to people some people i don't know some people i may know and when i mean i'll be scared walking on that stage and i'm gonna tell you i'm scared i'm gonna tell you i'm nervous i'm gonna tell you it's my first time but the thing is i'm facing my fears and when it comes to toxic relationship people you have to face your fears to get out of it if you want to see something different in your life if you want to be happy if you're tired of feeling empty if you're tired of feeling unhappy if you're tired of going through a cycle of just misery and that's all it is it's just misery it's like it's like an excuse for being miserable and you literally you have to sit down with yourself and be like is this what i want to do for the rest of my life do i want to sit with this guy this girl and constantly go back and forth do i want my kids to unconsciously subconsciously you know develop this this cycle develop this behavior of being in a toxic relationship hello mo collins so you know guys just 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 sit with yourself for a minute don't be afraid to be alone because sometimes you can have the best conversations with yourself i do on a daily basis i'm my favorite person to talk to because i know i i'm i talk to myself all the time and it's crazy because some of the advice i give y'all you know i use for myself because you know like i stated we all gonna learn grow together i'm not perfect at 23 i'm now learning to live my truth and it ain't easy but i'm ready for the bumpy rides guys i'm ready for the bumpy rides and you should be too don't be afraid to love you don't be afraid to know you don't be afraid to make yourself happy don't be afraid to be selfish because in a world 
where you live one life, when you die, there's never gonna be another you. Always remember that. So while you're in this situation that you're in, look at yourself and be like, is this something I wanna deal with? Like if I die tomorrow, can I say that I was satisfied with the situation I was in and the life I lived? And if your answer is no, then whatever you're doing, you gotta get up out of it. You gotta change your life. You gotta do what's pleasing to your soul because if you don't, you're going to regret it when you're 55 and looking back at your life and looking at what you could have been, where you could have been, who you could have been with. And all you did was sit back and make excuses because you were scared. When all you had to do was take that one step, one step. And you don't got to be alone. Reach out. Reach out. You don't ever have to be alone. Hi. Hi, Dee Dee and Nina. Big deal. Hi. So have a problem you want to talk about, but you don't want to go to your family or friends if they're being judged. Do you have a story that needs to be heard, yet you're afraid to share it? Well, nothing to fear. LaVeja Renee is here. Send an email to WashingtonLaVeja1 at gmail.com. Also, you can send me a Facebook message, or you can DM me on Instagram at LaVeja Renee, and I can answer your problems while keeping your identity safe and sound. Shout out to the ladies who did contact me. I appreciate the support. I pray my advice helped all of you brave young ladies. Also, be on the lookout for my seminar, which will be happening in July, people. Yes, I said July. Location, Staten Island, of course. Um, I have some great speakers lined up, including myself, so make sure you are alert for that. Send me music, people. Watch the one at gmail.com. Did I say the word? Drop call. I'm by myself. I think I should. Should I get, like, a, like a part-time co-host? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't take don't don't take that wrong with it. Like, oh, she looking for a part? No, I'm considering that. I'm considering a part time co-host because I don't know. I like listening to myself, but I don't know if I can get like another personality or something every other week. Not every week, every other other week. You know. Have guest co-host. Yeah, I was gonna. I'm, I'm having a I'm having a guest this Friday coming up. I have a guest coming. Y'all ain't gonna know who he is. Oh, I said who he is. That's so discreet, oh, we right? Know who he is. But that's mad discreet. Like y'all, y'all, y'all now y'all know it's a guy. Like, uh, but anyway. <laughs> so remember until you invest and use others, won't guys? So I want to thank everyone for tuning into tonight's show. I hope the quote I gave you guys was able to settle some understanding in your life. Remember, whatever battle you are facing, you are not alone. Until next time, America. It's your girl, Lavage Renee. On yes, she speaks. Catch me next Friday with my special guest. Um, on at five to six p.m. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love you. And we out. And we rolling. And yeah, 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 yeah.